We are live once again. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Diablo Hellfire, which I tend to stream because it lends itself really well to streaming, much more so than episodic playthroughs. Uh, this go round, we are actually starting off our Sorcerer. We've done an episode with the Warrior. We did a long episode with the Rogue, where we actually cleared normal difficulty. And as we've been doing with these games, we're going to launch another new character. This time, the Sorcerer. Who, of course, plays very differently than the other two. Or at least the two we've done so far. We're going to play on normal, as is our want. So, here is what he starts out with. Two potions of healing, a hundred gold, and a short staff of mana with 18 charges, which refills his mana, actually. And, very importantly, those who mistakenly think that the early going with the sorcerer is rough didn't notice or didn't realize they were supposed to use the level 2 firebolt spell that he also starts with. That's what we're going to do. Hi, Lone Wonder. Lovely to see you. Welcome in, as always. It's a pleasure. How are you, my friend? How's your weekend? Can't a fellow drink in peace? I know you got your own ideas, and I know you're not going to believe this. That weapon you got there? He just ain't no good against those big brutes. Oh, I don't care what Griswold says. They can't make anything like they used to in the old days. Oh my goodness. 38 months. That's insane. We are over three years working on four. Frankly, I can't believe I've been affiliated that long. It's making me feel old. But thank you so much for the resub, Lone Wonder. It's always such a pleasure to have you. I thank you for your support and your constant, steady presence in my streams. Uh, I'm doing great. I had a fantastic weekend, to be honest. It was just really good. Anyway, people who think the, uh, people who say the sorcerer is hard typically tried to actually use his weapon, which is not what you do with the sorcerer. It's just a terrible idea. So if you look at his starting stats, he has 2 to 4 damage, 57 to hit, 3 armor class, 30 life, and 70 mana. With 15 strength, 35 magic, 15 dex, and 20 vitality. The sorcerer breaks my rule of always raise dexterity first. The sorcerer... Pretty much the only way we ever raise anything besides magic is with elixirs. <clears throat> because his spells are the most important thing, and similarly... We aren't just going to hoard gold. Well, I don't know that it's similar. That was the wrong word. Another difference is that with sorcery, you don't just want to ho hoard your gold waiting for elixirs to become available like you do with the other classes. You need to shop for spells at the witch. If you don't do that, if you don't, particularly if you don't get mana shield, a good fire spell, and a good lightning spell before the end of the catacombs-ish, you're going to be in real trouble. So you need to be on the lookout for those spells, and that entails spending some gold at the witch, which is fine. I sense a soul in search of answers. We're not going to be able to afford anything we need with a hundred gold. I'm not going shopping now. I'm just chatting with her like I always do with the townsfolk. The sum of our knowledge is in the sum of its people. Should you find a book or scroll that you cannot decipher, do not hesitate to bring it to me. If I can make sense of it, I will share what I find. Thank you, Adria. Let's see, Lester's still up here. I don't think any of his dialogue has changed. I need something done, but I couldn't impose on a perfect stranger. Perhaps after you've been here a while, I might feel more comfortable asking a favor. Let me just check immediately to see if we have the butcher or not. Uh, no, Lone Wonder, you would have to... 
loading doesn't re saving and loading doesn't reset their inventory. Um, I could enter and leave the dungeon. That would do it. Or maybe maybe with the witch it would. I actually don't know, but you could you could enter and leave the dungeon, which is a pretty easy way to get it done. I prefer to try and be a little less grindy in this game, but that would work. And you might have to. Like, if you get to the bottom of the catacombs and you still haven't found Mana Shield, like, you gotta do what you gotta do. Griswold. Well, what can I do for you? Uh, sometimes I think that Kane talks too much. But I guess that's his calling in life. If I could bend steel as well as he can bend your ear, oh, I could make a suit of court plate good enough for an emperor. But, uh, me Regardless, Mana Shield costs a book of Mana Shield costs sixteen thousand gold. So, we're uh, we're going to be saving for a while, regardless. And if you happen to find it in the dungeon, then great, you don't need to worry about it anymore. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. Ogden has owned and run the Rising Sun Inn and Tavern for almost four years now. He purchased it just a few short months before everything here went to hell. He and his wife, Garda, do not have the money to leave as they invested all they had in making a life for themselves here. He is a good man with a deep sense of responsibility. It's like that time I found a wind force with my warrior. The only wind force I've ever found in any of the 3D Diablo games. You were here for that, weren't you? What ails you, my friend? Before it was taken over by, well, whatever looks below, the cathedral was a place of great learning. There are many books to be found there. If you find any, you should read them all, for some may hold secrets to the workings of the labyrinth. Thank goodness you returned. Much has changed since you lived here, my friend. All was peaceful until the Dark Riders came and destroyed our village. Many were cut down where they stood, and those who took up arms were slain or, or dragged away to become slaves, or worse. The church at the edge of town has been desecrated and is being used for dark rituals. The screams that echo in the night are inhuman, but some of our townsfolk may yet survive. Follow the path <coughs> that lies between my tavern and the blacksmith's shop to find the church and save who you can. Perhaps I can tell you more if we speak again. Good luck. All right, so we have poisoned water supply, which I'm thrilled with. It means we get a resist all out the gate. Good day. How may I serve you? I'm always thrilled with uh, getting the Ring of Truth. Because non-zero resists across the board is huge. Our blacksmith is a point of pride to the people of Tristram. Not only is he a master craftsman who has won many contests within his guild, but he received praises from our King Leoric himself. May his soul rest in peace. Griswold is also a great hero. Just ask Cain. And that leaves Wirt. And then, since we don't have the Butcher to run around and ask about, we can head right into the dungeon. Psst! Over here! In case you haven't noticed, I don't buy anything from Tristram. I am an importer of quality goods. If you want a peddler of junk, you'll have to see Griswold, Pepin, or that witch Adria. I'm sure they'll snap up whatever you can bring them. All right, into the dungeon we go. Now with the sorcerer, you use your spells. That's how you the play with them. The sanctity of this place has been fouled. And one of the things that's pretty terrible, th this is where the design decision to make it so you could only break barrels with melee attacks becomes pretty terrible. But you just do what you gotta do. Another difference that should be pretty obvious is potions of mana are going to be very useful right out the gate. To the tune that I want to stash my belt with those. Oh. oh, come on now. That was just epic fail. I try not to waste any mana in these early levels. 
It's just terrible to burn a firebolt on a miss until you, uh... And the sorcerer is essentially just unstoppable once his magic stat gets sufficiently high and he has mana shield, but until then, he can have real trouble. Just, um, mana... The whole time mana is a resource that requires mana actual management, things are dicey. But as long as you're smart enough to keep using your spell, not go toe-to-toe -to -toe with things, you're generally okay. A chest behind the stairs. Thanks, Lone Wonder. I'll check it out after I clear this room. Oh. Thought there was another... Little shit over there. Aha! You did see a chest. Good eye, my friend, and thank you. Little shrine room, we'll go ahead and check it out. No. We don't miss. It doesn't happen. An abandoned shrine. I think that raises Dax, right? The hands of man may be guided by fate. Yeah, of course. We find deck shrines on the one character where I don't care about decks. Seems about right. Blacksmith oil. I don't even care. Weapons are so immaterial. Alright, but I do need my first mana pot. Go figure. I didn't want to do that. Come on. There we go. Nice. The other swell thing about the Sorcerer, of course, is that uh, you don't really have to worry about scrolls with him. It's actually economical to buy a Book of Town Portal and cast it because his mana is, just ends up... Let me get to level 10 and our mana will just be through the roof. Come on. Every level up goes into magic. Full stop. Kind of like every level up goes into decks for the rogue. Because the same rules apply that were used for the other two class specialties. Namely, like, you know, as the warrior's strength increases, um, he's actually able to swing his melee weapons faster. As the rogue's dex increases, she's able to fire her bows faster. Raising magic uh, actually does lower the sorcerer's casting time. In addition to, uh, it doesn't raise the base damage of his spells, that's tuned to spell level. But raising the magic stat gives you more magic, and it shortens your casting animation, which is... I shouldn't need to tell you how baller that is. A Book of Firebolt! Huzzah! Level 3. Nice. Right. 
Right, so Firebolt costs three mana, level three Firebolt costs three mana and does nine to 18 damage. It's not bad. Very, very not bad for level one. Right, as long as we don't get ourselves pinned in a melee fight, we're gonna do super well here. And as long as we can keep our mana up. All right, there are the stairs level two, so I'm gonna abandon this room for now and go explore down here instead. Better than nothing rule does still apply. But he can wear a cap. Not that it does much. I love the dungeon theme in this game. The rest of the music, besides Tristram, isn't that great. We've waxed poetic about the Tristram theme ad nauseum in our other Diablo 1 streams. I love the dungeon music as well. Levels 1 through 4. So good. Alright, here are the stairs to level 2. Apparently we're in a big room. So another thing that's like really, really critical with the sorcerer doesn't come into play until the later levels, but uh, much more so than the rogue or sorcerer, it's pretty vital that you learn the monster's resistances. They really, really matter when you're using magic on them. Big surprise, right? Alright, let's put this cape on. Again, in the realm of better than nothing. Although, ideally, we're not gonna get hit in melee at all. Not for a while, anyway. I mean, it obviously becomes unavoidable later on, but by then we have mana shield, and the sorcerer becomes an indestructible tank. Staff! Ooh, an unidentified staff of healing. That could be good. Not enough mana. Whoops. <laughs> Oil of accuracy. Completely irrelevant. Still a short staff, but that's fine. I really don't care about the melee. What I care about is the affixes. And the spell it casts. Like, unless it's cursed and terrible, I'm probably going to switch to that. Since I haven't found a book of healing yet, and I don't really want healing pots occupying spots on my bell. Oh, f goodness sake.
Get back here, you little shit. Level up. Goes into magic, like they all do. Hello. <gasps> Man apart. Thank you. Most useful of tools. Excellent. Finding a library is way more exciting with the sorcerer than it is with the other character classes. where you might actually find new, worthwhile tools to use. A Book of Firebolt! Shazam! Level 4. Still 3 mana, but the minimum and maximum damage each went up by 1. It went from 9 to 18 to 10 to 19. Firebolt's obviously a pretty basic spell, but it'll do us well. It'll do us good for quite a while until we can learn Fireball. Your end game spells are Chain Lightning, Fireball, Firewall, and uh, obviously Healing, Town Portal, and Mana Shield are the other important utility ones. Another abandoned shrine. Two dexterity shrines. All you need to do to find dex shrines is play a sorcerer, apparently. There it is. 19 dex. It's alright. I ain't mad or anything. A book of search. Alright, so. Search is one of the ones they added to Hellfire. That's the monk's skill. But it's the one that lets us find items, so. At level 1, it costs 7 mana. And that's one of the spells that, you know, the magnitude never goes up or down. So as you raise its spell levels, the mana cost drops. Town portal and uh, mana shield work the same way. Get that short sword. There you go. Oh. Come on now. Come on now. There we go. Scroll of Identify. Let's check out that staff of healing first. A frog staff of healing. No, it is cursed. It lowers my mana. It's like the worst thing it could possibly do. It's a curse that actually hits me where it matters. Another scroll of identify. All right, let's identify that cape. Cape of the Fox. Why, yes, I would like 15 extra hit points in the absence of anything else. 
A book of Holy Bolt. Alright, so level 1 Holy Bolt. What's that do? 12 to 21 damage for a 3 mana cost. So, significantly more damage than Firebolt. Same mana cost. But, it only works on Undead. But you don't want to you don't want to have to do this ad nauseum. So, how do I do a shortcut? Can't remember how to do a hotkey. I know you can. Maybe. Yeah. You just, you can't use the first four. I don't think. Yeah, so I have, now I have Firebolt on F5, Holy Bolt on F6. I'll put Search on, oh wow. Seems like I can only have four spells hotkeyed at a time. That can't be right. Let me look this up right quick. It's not on the help menu. Nope, that is correct. You can only hotkey four spells. So we'll have to be judicious about which spells we have hotkeyed. That said, for now, Firebolt on F5 and Holy Bolt on F6 will do just fine. And there's some that you don't need hotkeyed, like Mana Shield you cast at the beginning of the level and that's that. You should never need to cast it on the fly. So our hotkeyed spells will probably be Fireball, Firewall, Chain Lightning, and Healing at the end. Well, we shouldn't even need Healing, actually. Maybe something else I haven't even thought of. But nonetheless, pr turns out to be useful. All those Firebolt books is actually a pretty good haul for dungeon level one, if you're wondering. And that Cape of the Fox is no slouch either. Since our sorcerer is sorcerer is, generally speaking, pretty darn squishy until he learns mana shield. Because we're not we're not gonna raise his vitality, so damn it. Damn it! Damn it! There we go. Much better. Get back here, you little shit. Alright, nice. Oh, perfect! Thank you for restocking my mana pot, game. So kind. Wow. Much fail. So the Sorcerer, much like the Necromancer in Diablo 2, is by far the least gear-dependent of the classes. He's very dependent on having the right spells and having a sufficient magic stat. Once that happens, his gear is kind of immaterial, much like a rogue with max dexterity in that respect. Alright, well before I actually head to level 2, since it looks like we are done with level 1, I want to hike back outside and do my first offload, see if Adria has any spell books that I want to buy, see if I could afford them. At this stage, <clears throat> I'd be very interested in a book of Town Portal or a book of Healing. Failing that, I will buy a Portal Scroll for now. 
Uh, I actually need a bathroom break, so if you'll indulge me, I'll be right back. All right, thank you very much. I appreciate the indulgence. Now we can still uh, restore our HP by visiting the healer. Unfortunately, there's no equivalent for the, uh, the mana. It's not like you can go talk to the witch and get your mana restored. I'm glad I caught up to you in time. Our wells have become brackish and stagnant, and some of the townspeople have become ill drinking from them. Our reserves of fresh water are quickly running dry. I believe that there is a passage that leads to the springs that serve our town. Please find what has caused this calamity, or we all will surely perish. What ails you, my friend? Please, you must hurry. Every hour that passes brings us closer to having no water to drink. We cannot survive for long without your help. All right, Pepin, I hear you. Psst, over here. For once, I'm with you. My business runs dry, so to speak, and I have no market to sell to. You better find out what is going on, and soon. Fair enough, Wirt. That's the idea. Good day. How... My grandmother is very weak, and Garda says that we cannot drink the water from the wells. Please, can you do something to help us? Greetings, good master. Well, I have always tried to keep a large supply of foodstuffs and drink in our storage cellar. But with the entire town having no source of fresh water, even our stores will soon run dry. Please, do what you can, or I don't know what we will do. Well, what can I do for you? All right, let's go ahead and sell him. Everything we're carrying, we're not going to use. I will go ahead and repair the stuff I'm wearing. And that's gonna be it. Pepin has told ye the truth. 
We will need fresh water badly, and soon. Uh, I've tried to clear one of the smaller wells, but it reeks of stagnant filth. It must be getting clogged at the source. Hello, my friend. Mm. I don't know what I can really tell you about this that will be of any help. The water that fills our wells comes from an underground spring. I have heard of a tunnel that leads to a great lake. Perhaps they are one and the same. Unfortunately, I do not know what would cause our water supply to be tainted. Farnham with my favorite flavor commentary. Can't a fellow drink in peace? Do you drink water? <laughs> oh, Farnham. Always good for a chuckle. I sense a soul in search of answers. The people of Tristram will die if you cannot restore fresh water to their wells. Know this, demons are at the heart of this matter, but they remain ignorant of what they have spawned. Alright, let's start by selling. Sell that staff of Firebolt. Sell... Pots and scrolls I'm not going to use. Okay. So I have 973 gold. The first thing I want to do... She's got what I need, but I don't have enough gold for it. That's a shame. So instead, I will go ahead and buy a portal scroll. For now. And I'll fill my belt with mana pots. Alright. 473 gold. Hi, Tyne Stalker. Welcome back. Great to see you as always. How are you, my friend? Alright, let's roll in here and head to level 2. trouble can we get in down here? Well, there's the stairs to level 3. There are the stairs to level 3. I can speak proper English, I promise. Okay. Well, let's start with the library. Those are definitely the most exciting places for a sorcerer. I am having a great Monday, actually. I know that's an unusual thing to say, but I had a lovely weekend and it's continued through today so far. Thank you. I hope the same for you. Telekinesis. Now, telekinesis is an interesting spell. Spell level 1, mana 8. What it, what it does is it allows you to remotely open chests or doors. So if there's a particularly egregious trap that we notice, we can reload and we can use telekinesis to deal with it instead. We can also open doors from a distance if, you know, say there's some heinous, terrible boss monster behind them that we don't want to deal with or that we want to, you know open it from a distance where we only aggro one instead of a bunch of others. And it also allows us, uh, similarly to, say, chest and door interaction, it lets us uh, pick up items at distance as well. So it has its uses. It's not gonna... 
It's not it's not about to get hot keyed or anything. Level four. It goes into magic. What did you expect? Telekinesis, of course, is of the town portal healing school of level progression, and that as we raise the spell level, the mana cost goes down. Believe it or not, the maximum level for a Diablo 1 spell is 15. Alright, to a dark passage. That'll take us to the poison water supply. I'm interested in finishing the rest of level two first. So those goat men are, they're pretty high level for a character who's making their way through level two. Oh. And they're not that easy to hit either. Okay, we may need to switch to Holy Bolt for these guys, we'll see. No, we can still one shot them. The minions anyway. All right, but we're gonna wanna use Holy Bolt on the big fella. Because it's same mana, same mana cost, more damage. Now let's just eliminate the minions one by one. Come on. Come on, hit him. Got it, nice. Potion of mana, and I was gonna say, I think something else dropped. All right, now let's fight Rot Feast with Holy Bolt. Probably, st almost certainly still can't one-shot him, but that's okay. Three, not bad. And he dropped some rags, which will identify in due course. Same with the saber. Did not mean to melee that skeleton, but it worked. So, I mean, if something works, why fuck with it, right? A mana pot? Hold on, I got archers. Then I will go back and have you direct me to it. They're dropping oils, which are quite useless to a character who doesn't do <coughs> weapon weapon combat, like, at all. Hmm. That's alright. A staff of lightning wall. Now that's interesting. I don't like being reliant on staff charges to use spells. <clears throat> but I may hang on to that for a while. Oh, there's a mana pot. I see it. I found it myself, Lone Wonder, but thank you for bringing it to my attention. Let's see, 9 armor class versus 15 hit points. I'd still rather have the armor class, to be honest. Not getting hit is better than taking more damage. Scroll of search. Dumby, hi, how are you? I'm doing great, thanks for asking. How about yourself? Happy Monday. And I don't even mean that as sarcastically as people usually mean it. I'm I'm having a really good Monday. I ran six miles. I was at my girlfriend's last night, had breakfast with her, now I'm playing Diablo. Things are great. I've already kind of done a lot of my discoursing on sorcerer strategy, but...
bored, annoyed, and always waiting. Well, pray tell, what are you waiting for? Strike it rich with cryptocurrency? <laughs> uh, my leg's great. Thanks for asking. I, uh, yeah. I'm more or less back to full health. I appreciate remembering that something was off to begin with. Ooh, yeah, Devilkin are strong. Lest we forget. Okay, gotta get away, gotta get away, gotta get away. Still don't want to. Oh, come on. I still don't want to miss. I meant to click load game. I think it knew that, and it's just screwing with me. As it sometimes does. Shadow Bite has no resistances, but some immunities. I think Shadow Bite's actually immune to fire. Yeah, so that Staff of Lightning wall we found can be super useful here. <laughs> what you want to do... <laughs> if I could just, like... get it cast sideways there... <laughs> Oh, and then not walk into my own wall like an idiot. We'd be just fine. So the wall spells can be tough to place correctly. I didn't want to go in there either. Game. Come on. Game. I have to... Man, it's like I placed it perfectly once. And then it stopped, and, and, and I'm never gonna do it again. He's one square off. anymore. There we go. Got the fucker. Much better. Okay. Good. That is decidedly not what I wanted to do. Okay. Now we can't carry any more uh, stuff, but I mean, it's a book. It's a spell book. We'll be able to learn it the moment we pick it up, so let's not be silly about this. Okay, so a level 2 Holy Bolt is 3 mana, and it does 13 to 22 damage. This feels so random. What does uh, Diablo 1 in general? Alright, we hit level 5. That's great. Yeah, the wall... Uh, they're actually not random, but the wall spells are really difficult to learn to place properly. We'll certainly get there by the end of a Sorcerer playthrough, but it's going to take a good bit of practice. Alright, nice. I think that's everyone pretty dead. So, of course, our level goes into magic. We'll use our Scroll of Town portal. And we'll get out of here for the offload. Uh, Pepin doesn't even buy anything. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and... Iron Saber, useless, rags of health. Not bad, but I'd rather have the 
armor class. Club of Light, useless. Well, what can I do for you? And a Staff of Lightning Wall was clutch, so I'm gonna hang on to that until I, uh, actually find the lightning spell. Soul in search of answers. Take that. Take that. Take that. Alright, let's see about spell books. I sense a soul in search of answers. What you got, girl? A book of firewall and a book of town portal. I can't afford either one. That's alright. Oh, I do need a scroll of town portal though. I sense a soul in search of answers. Alrighty, very nice. How many charges does it have? Fifteen more. Yeah, I don't really... I'm actually really surprised I ran into a fire immune that early. Um, I, I would be very, 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 very surprised if I actually needed to use that staff again. But better safe than sorry. That's not a difficult lesson to learn in Diablo. That's the other thing that's kind of forgotten about Diablo 1 relative to the other two the sequels. This game is hard. That's why it's really nice that at least in single player you can uh, you can save load, which you can't do in any of the sequels. This game's pretty unforgiving, pretty difficult. Oh, for the love of God, why am I missing? The other nice thing about spells is as long as you actually line your shot up, you have a perfect hit chance. Yet another reason the sorcerer is insanely overpowered when he's properly specced. That big room's finally clear. Ain't life grand. Let's go this way first. Damn it. Can't afford to miss. Ha! Hi, Alex! Welcome back, my friend. How have you been? Always such a pleasure to see you. I'm not gonna. I'm not necessarily going to wade into a Joker debate because everybody has their opinions and they're mostly valid unless you actually like Jared Leto, in which case I have serious questions about what's wrong with you. But people always forget that Mark Hamill did the Joker's voice in the animated series and in the uh, and in the Arkham games and. For my money, it's not even close. He is by far the best Joker performance. I'm with you on live action. I I prefer Heath Ledger. I think he's the best. Although Joaquin Phoenix is definitely up there. I didn't find Jack Nicholson all that compelling. I think Nicholson kind of coasted on uh, reputation. And he just kind of did what he always does in his movies. Like... I don't necessarily feel like there was much transformation there. I feel I watch I watch Batman, Tim Burton's Batman. I feel like I'm more or less just watching Jack Nicholson do a Jack Nicholson movie where his face happens to be white. 
Don't get me wrong, that's compelling to watch, because Jack Nicholson's a great actor. But there's no transformation, there's no real sense of... ...character. Like, to be fair, Jack did in his earlier movies, or, um... ...like some of those other Joker performers do. Hi, free guy, great to see you too. Welcome, welcome. I think nostalgia and people... I think there's a big element of people just wanting to be contrarian to, since most people think that Heath Ledger's the best, you will always have a breed of people that go, Nuh-uh! Whether that desire to be contrarian is conscious or not, I will venture no opinion. Sorry about that. Phone kind of blew up on me, but now we're good. Jesus, they hit like Mack trucks if you let them hit you. D&D laden weekend with friends? That sounds awesome. I went to a renaissance fair yesterday. That's part of why my weekend was so great. I bought myself a new ring. It's a Celtic braid. I'm rather pleased with Ooh, boss! Do you have minions? Two bosses! <gasps> Two bosses, one room. <gasps> Alright, well here's Deadeye. Let's holy bolt him. <gasps> Alright. This could get dicey. Kinda wanna get him on his own. Got him. Cap, huh? Not identified. It's an ego thing, Alex. They, uh... They feel the need to stand apart from the crowd. Like if the... Level 6! Magic to 60! Alright, Soul Pus, get over here. Let's Holy Bolt you as well. Skadoosh! That was awesome. Skull cap. Two armor versus three armor. No thank you. I mean, it really doesn't matter much, but why downgrade? I know things seem super dicey right now, 
Cause we don't have healing yet. That's like the big one. We don't have the healing spell. The real power moment comes when we get mana shield. Which usually does not happen anywhere near this early. But you kind of need it by the end of the catacombs. Just if you're if you're looking for benchmarks to target, that's a pretty solid one. <coughs> My goodness, excuse me. Come here, little shits. Alright, archers, where you at? Come to Papa. miss good much better Yeah, Alex, and I agree that we all have that desire, too. I ate the jar during the entire weekend? I'm confused. What do you mean? Oh. I'm sorry, you weren't talking to me. <laughs> My mistake. Alright, into the poisoned water supply. Hello, carvers. <laughs> Trying not to miss. Man, it's still a pretty precious resource here. <laughs> Got him. actually killed him with my staff, but one shot per enemy is generally fine with me in terms of resource consumption. I'm gonna need you not to miss though, dog. Got him. Got a goat. They're tough at this level. I will probably die if I let it hit me, so. Let's just keep. 
keep our distance. Nice. Greater Rune of Fire. Which I won't ever use. Alright. Let's get those golds. Good. Firebolt's high enough level that we can one-shot the Goatman. That's important. Hi, Renegade! Welcome back, so good to see you. My goodness. Wall hugging. Not enough mana. Well, sometimes. <laughs> Got him. Wall hugging again. Hacks. <laughs> Says the guy who's saves coming to Time Lord the whole game. The sorcerer is scarier than the demons. Uh, I mean, we're s we're squishy at the moment, but that's truly just because we are lacking so many spells. Once we have healing and a lightning spell and mana shield, like the sorcerer is just a towering, unstoppable force. I know I keep saying it. You'll see soon enough. All right, off we go. What ails you, my friend? Kane first. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. White Cap, Club of Peril. No thanks. Um. Oh, well, White Cap is. Three armor with magic resist is better than just three armor, Whoa, I suppose. What can I do for you? <sighs> this is annoying. I just, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm anxious to have enough gold to buy the spells I need, and I'm just not there yet. I sense a soul in search of answers. Keep those portal scrolls. I sense scrolls. a soul in search of answers. 2,500. So she's got books of flash, firewall, and search. None of which I care about. I've got portal scrolls, so let's just fill my belt with mana pots and call that good for the moment. He looks like a lizard folk. I think that's his hair, actually, on this model. So we don't have enough armor on yet for him to for it to animate any kind of headgear, I don't think. Everybody line up. Come get yours. Sorcerer. Got him. Nice.
Nice. I was hoping that would happen. And then it did. Level 7. Magic, because of course. Okay. Onward to level three. the stairs to level four. That answers that question. Let's retreat to the door. All right. Gold. And gold. And wow, that's it. All right. Gold's actually a lot more exciting with the sorcerer too, though. It's like, yes, I can buy spells from the witch. I just need several thousand more gold. Library. Let's do that first. In case it's something good. skinny library. Interesting. Scroll of phasing. Don't care. Scroll of healing. Irrelevant. Scroll of town portal. Not always a keeper. It's actually not true with the sorcerer. Scroll of healing. Irrelevant. Scroll of town portal. Alright, we're up to four portal scrolls. This will be a book. A Book of Reflect. I believe this is a Hellfire spell. Yeah, Reflect. Spell level 1. 17 mana. It gives you, uh... I don't know the exact numbers. It gives you some level of uh, damage reflection when you cast it. It's not bad. I'm probably never going to use it. Blood Fountain! Free health! I'm at full health right now, so it doesn't really matter. And uh, I actually need another quick restroom break. If you'll excuse me, I'll be right back.
Thank you much for that indulgence. Let me get comfy again. I'm craving a few more mints. And off to the races. Dark one's already on level three. Fascinating. Black deaths! Never get hit. It's less vital for the sorcerer, but... I mean, you still don't want your health pool destroyed. Right? Why would you ever want to allow such a thing? This is a strong monster lineup for level 3. That's good, it means we're gonna get a lot of experience. like we can usually one-shot a dark one, but not a hundred percent of the time. The low end of our damage range must be insufficient. Well, not must be. Clearly is insufficient. A potion. We love you so much. Many much mana potion. Yay. Portal scroll. Wow, we're getting lots of useful stuff. For a while, anyway. Nice, level up. <clears throat> Sorry about the face. Oh, I got the urge to sneeze, but then it just wouldn't happen. You know that terrible, terrible feeling? Yes, you all know what I'm talking about. We all have it. From time to time. Oh, all right. Kane first. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. Acts of peril. No one cares. Well, what can I do for you? All 
All right, let me sort my items now. I have four portal scrolls. They're organized the way I would like them. The rest is ready to sell to the witch. Anticlimax. Oh, I know, not sneezing. The urge just fades away. Few things in this world are more dissatisfying, my friends. I sense a soul in search of answers. Alright, well, there's one scroll of phasing I sense left to sell. Alright. 33.89 is my gold total. I don't need any scrolls or potions. Warp 3000, Inferno 2000. I don't care about any of those, I'm not gonna spend the money on them. So, there we go. Now, I'm. Lone Wonder had an interesting I idea. A soul in search of answers. If we save load, it actually reset her inventory. Okay, so I can do a book of healing or a book of lightning. First, I'm gonna buy the book of lightning, so I actually have a lightning spell. That's clutch timing. Put that on level, put that on F7. So lightning. Spell level one, six mana, two to 10 damage. But it means I have an answer to fire immune. So answers. now I can sell that staff of lightning wall. Free up some space that way. Yeah, I chose that over the book of healing. Does more for my inventory space and my monster coverage. we have here? Gortung. He's not fire immune, but I think we should use Holy Bolt. As is my general practice with undead boss monsters, at least in the early going. Longbow, huh? Hmm. Well, it'll be good gold at least. Hello, friends. in here we got some black deaths just can't can't let them hit me them's the rules okay we should holy bolt them if it's not a guaranteed one shot firebolt and holy bolt have the same mana cost so why the hell wouldn't you don't miss though Oh, for the love of God. Game. Thank you. Thank you. That's what we're about. All right. Ooh. Unidentified Morningstar. Very nice. A magical shrine. What's this one? What's this one going to do? Well, we got to kill these carvers first. Then we'll find out.
All right, what's this one? Oh, it casts a mana shield on me. That's pretty thrilling. Let's do it. Well, the spirit is vigilant, the body thrives. Yeah, so now as long as I don't let my mana hit zero, I'm essentially invincible. Which is pretty useless for all the non-magical characters, but for the sorcerer, it's bomb. Hiya. We don't have the near limitless pool of mana that makes us a god-tier unstoppable force yet, but we'll get there. Fuck, don't miss! Looks like we got more Black Deaths in here. They're isolated, so we'll switch to Holy Bolt. I will continue wondering why the fuck I can't hit them. I'm fine. I'm fine. All right, good. Rune of Fire, that's a yawn. That's all right. See how those traps were fuck all in terms of an actual threat thanks to our mana shield? It's already a micro preview of how invincible the sorcerer ends up being. But only when he's properly raised. If you ever put a sorcerer level up into any stat other than magic, unless it's already maxed, I'm gonna come to your house, I'm gonna slap you on the wrist, tell you you're bad, and you should feel bad. What do you mean? Why are you afraid, Lone Wonder? Just don't do it. Don't make such a terrible decision. And I won't show up at your house. Enough mana. Ah, yes. Whoops. Don't miss. Ooh, identify. Nice. I think I have something that needs identifying a longbow and a morning star, a bow of maiming. Well, that'll be worth a lot of gold. And that's pretty great for me. We should holy bolt the black deaths.
That oversight is my fault. Don't miss, Duder. Oh, do better. Do better. Nice. Okay, good. You can see why I even... Not only did I hoard mana potions, but I just kept them with me. I didn't leave them out as extras. We kind of burn through those. <laughs> Lone Wonder, thanks for giving me the idea to just save load at the witch. It's a big relief to have lightning and not have to tote that staff around anymore. Alright, we got a shrine. A fascinating shrine. I do not remember what this one might be. I never remember the Diablo 1 shrines off the top of my head. Intensity comes at the cost of wisdom. That's horrible for anyone, but it's particularly horrible for the sorcerer. Reduces your maximum mana pool forever in exchange for two stupid levels of Holy Bolt, which you could get from the spell books anyway. It's just, it's, it's dumb. It doesn't get dumber. Never ever accept such a raw deal. Never accept a permanent character nerf in exchange for spell levels you can get different ways. Onward. Alright, we got one more wing <clears throat> of level 3 left to explore over here. Seems like we're not getting the Skeleton King either. Unless it's over here. No Butcher and no Skeleton King is a... That's a pretty rare draw. Maybe we do have the Skeleton King, we just haven't found his lair yet. I'd rather not take that hit to my mana pool, thank you very much. You little shit. Oh hi! It's Bongo! I remember Bongo. No resistances, no immunities. Good, we can just firebolt this this asshole into oblivion. Oh, that Black Death dropped the staff! Is it a good staff? We don't know, but we'll find out. First though, let's deal with Bongo's minions. Oh, what the hell? I swear, there are times it just sails right through the model, and it's like, what the fuck is going on? Scroll of lightning. Don't miss, dummy. Why can't you hit him? enough mana. Do better. Got him! Axe and an unenchanted staff of Holy Bolt. Well, that's uninspiring, but that's okay. Robe! I cannot carry any more. Oh, 
Level up! I mean, you all know how this goes. Magic! Off we go! See, no need to visit the healer. Hello, my friend! Stay Mace a while, of the bear and, and axe of the bat. Well, what can I do for you? None of that has any utility for me. But that axe of the bat gave real good money. And that I do like very much. Okay. Let's go visit the witch now. I sense a soul Oops. in search of answers. I missed the trash can. That's embarrassing. All's well. Alright, first we sell. The potion of healing. The staff of holy bolt. The rune of fire. The scroll of lightning. I buy another mana pot. I sense a soul in search of answers. Now we see what else she has. I should be able to afford something useful with four grand. Oh look, she has a book of mana shield. I don't have anywhere near enough gold. Now's I a good time a to get a, in search of a book of town portal or a book of healing, whichever one she spawns first. These others, not so much. I sense a soul in search of answers. Firewall and flash, I mean. I sense a soul in search of answers. Holy bolt. Come on. I sense a soul in search of answers. Charged bolt. Yawn. I sense a soul in search of answers. Telekinesis and warp. Damn, woman, give me something I useful. I sense a soul in search of answers. Mana shield and firebolt. Come on. I sense a soul in search of answers. Lightning and warp. I already have lightning. I sense a soul in search of answers. Lightning wall, charged bolt, and berserk. No. I sense a soul in search Not of yet. answers. Good lord. I sense a soul in search of answers. Warp and lightning wall. Jesus H. Christ. I sense a soul in search of answers. Stone curse and lightning. I Woman. sense a soul in Town search portal of and healing. It's not that hard. I sense a soul in search of answers. That was misogynistic behavior, and I apologize for it. I sense a soul in search of answers. I sense a soul in search of answers. No books at all. I sense a soul in search of answers. Adria. Darling. I sense a soul in search of answers. Could I please have a book of healing and a book of town portal? It would make me so I happy. I sense a soul in search of answers. Ring of fire's not bad, actually, but... I, I can't afford it, and Firebolt is still good of enough answers. for offense. <gasps> Town portal! That's great. I don't need portal scrolls anymore. I sense a soul in search so I can of sell answers. those off. You eventually become an engine that runs on mana and nothing else. I sense a soul in search of answers. The only other thing I really want. I sense a soul in search of answers. I want a book of healing before I go any deeper. And then I'll probably save up for a book of mana shield at that point. I sense a soul in search of answers. I sense a soul in search of answers. 
I sense a soul in search of answers. I sense a soul in search of answers. I sense a soul in search of answers. I sense a soul in search of answers. I sense a soul Adria. in search of answers. Darling, could I please have a book of healing? I sense a soul in search of answers. It would make me so happy. I sense a soul in search of answers. I sense a soul in search of answers. Firebolt's kind of yawning. I sense a soul in search of answers. There's, there's not a lot of utility in boosting Firebolt's levels much higher than we already have I them. I sense a soul in search of answers. Once I get healing, which could happen on any I one of these reloads. I sense a soul in search of answers. Once we get it, I, I will... I sense a soul in search of answers. Really want to, uh... I sense a soul. I want to save up for answers. mana shield. Book of healing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's what we need. Healing goes on F8. Okay. It's town portal. Spell level 1, 18 mana to get out of here. Or to get out of the dungeon. Pretty straightforward. And then, of course, healing. Spell level 1, 11 mana per cast. Alright, so. Now a lot of my utility spells are locked in. Next is save up for mana shield. That's the next big one. Just in terms of staying alive. And then um, after that, you kind of buy things as they spawn. But uh, the ones to look out for from that point forward are um, chain lightning and fireball. You don't really want to spend money leveling up any of the other inferior spells. Nor do you want to do it on getting Town Portal or... Something like Town Portal or uh, healing past level 1. I mean, healing's only a thousand gold. It's not that bad. But healing becomes obsolete after we get Mana Shield anyway. All this really means is we don't need to worry about never taking damage anymore as I can economically heal with my already pretty immense mana reserve. And the nice thing about Chain Lightning and Fireball, particularly Fireball, it's like my your default offensive endgame spell unless you happen to be dealing with a fire immune monster because it has that delicious area of effect so even if you miss shit generally still gets hurt unless you miss by a mile which doesn't tend to happen Anything in here? Nope. So yeah, we are now saving up for mana shield. Unless we happen to find it in the dungeon. Which would be great, because then we could focus on fireball and chain lightning. I don't think we're high enough level for her to even sell those yet, though. We don't meet the character level requirement. But you don't really want to spend your money on anything much else. And I know I said this at the beginning too, but the... Uh, the sorcerer is far, far more dependent on the levels of his spells than anything else. You don't really want to spend your money on elixirs either. You're pretty much always going to be spending them at the witch. Hi, Karis! So good to see you. Yeah, we didn't get the Skeleton King either. Go figure. Um, 
I am probably not going to be able to finish level four. I have a hard stop coming in about 15 minutes, but we'll do what we can. All right, burning dead. We've got burning dead on this level, which means uh, we're going to be using a lot of holy bolt because they have a strong fire resistance. Our run's going great. We haven't had a lot of luck with drops, but the nice thing about the sorcerer is you really don't need it. We had to do a lot of uh, save scumming at the witch to get the spells we needed, but we're on level 4, and I have a level 4 firebolt. I have lightning. I have a level 2 holy bolt. I have town portal, and I have healing. So I kind of have all the essentials for this stage. I'm saving up for a book of mana shield now, because she's already started selling them. They cost 16,000 gold, so unless I happen to get lucky enough to find one in the dungeon, that's going to be my next purchase. Spiritual Shrine. Riches abound when least expected. Oh, we all know that one. Alright, let's empty the inventory. Thankfully, it's pretty close to empty as is. The only real trouble we've had, um, I ran into, um, I think it was Shadow Bite on level 2. Very, very early fire immune. I was fortunate enough that a Staff of Lightning Wall had dropped earlier in the run, but I don't, I don't know if you're terribly familiar or not with just how tough it is to correctly place the wall spells in this game, but it was an adventure getting that right. But once we did, everything's everything's been pretty smooth since then. Alright, good. And I don't actually want to waste the mana on search. So, I won't. Hi, DLF. Can you blind fire here? I'm not sure what you mean. What do you mean by blind fire? Like, fire at enemies that are outside my light radius and haven't aggroed yet and hit them? Take heed and bear witness to the truths that lie herein, for they are the last legacy of the Haradrim. There is a war that rages on even now, beyond the fields that we know, between the utopian kingdoms of the high heavens and the chaotic pits of the burning hells. This war is known as the Great Conflict, and it has raged and burned longer than any of the stars in the sky. Neither side ever gains sway for long, as the forces of light and darkness constantly vie for control over all creation. Uh, hi, DLF. Welcome in. Good to see you as always. And Karis, yes, you can blind fire, if you so desire. When I get to a monster like Death Spit, that's going to be the strategy. And I can see Snotspill's little arena over there. Let's go this way first.
Sacred. Energy comes at the cost of wisdom. Fuck no. It's spamming me with, uh... Shrines that lower your mana pool in exchange for spell levels, and that's... That's a terrible decision with every class, but it's especially terrible with the Sorcerer. We got a goat shrine in here. And we don't have the goats. What the hell? Ooh, now that's an interesting one. Magic. Um, I think that's an enchanted shrine. You have to pay attention to what it does. Generally, it is extremely good. What it does is lower one spell level by one. And it raises all all of the others by one. So it lowered Holy Bolt from 2 to 1 which means we got a free level 2 Town Portal, level 2 Lightning, level 2 Healing, and level 5 Fire Bolt. That is fucking great. Enchanted Shrines are so redonkulously overpowered for the Sorcerer, and that one did very well by me. Awesome. Hi, Sauna. Great to see you. Welcome back. I've uh, tried to pretty clearly advertise that, unfortunately, I have a hard stop coming in a little under 10 minutes, but uh, we'll raid over to Zippy when that happens, and in the meantime, I'm going to do as much of level 4 as I can. Oh, that enchanted shrine. Oh, that was so good! That was so good! I mean, back in the day when you were playing this game multiplayer, like, you went farming for enchanted shrines if you were playing a sorcerer. I have no room. A book of search! Oh, but we have no room. Now let's go ahead and raise it another level. I mean, why not? Okay, cool. Alright, let's get over to where, uh... Snotspill's little, uh... Where I could see Snotspill's little arena. And that becomes... a great spot. Go ahead and make a town run, first of all. Let's see, we'll visit Kane first. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. Well, what can I do for you? Then the witch. We just have a few potions and scrolls to get rid of. Like I said, we are saving up for um, a book of mana shield, which is 16,000 gold. So in search of answers. I'm not even going to bother looking at what she's selling now. Even if she has one, I can't afford it. But I'm going to head. I'm going to talk to Ogden because I know we have Ogden's sign. Master, I have a strange experience to relate. I know that you have a great knowledge of those monstrosities that inhabit the labyrinth, and this is something that I cannot understand for the very life of me. I was awakened during the night by a scraping sound just outside of my tavern. When I looked out from my bedroom, I saw the shapes of small, demon-like creatures in the inn yard. After a short time, they ran off, but not before stealing the sign to my inn. I doubt now why the demons would steal my sign, but leave my family in peace. 
It is strange, no? Greetings, good master. Welcome to the Tavern of the Rising... Good day. How may... Oh, my. Is that where the sign went? My grandmother and I must have slept right through the whole thing. Thank the light that those monsters didn't attack the inn. Psst! Over here! What? Is he saying I took that? I suppose that Griswold is on his side too. Look, I got over simple sign stealing months ago. You can't turn a profit on a piece of wood. Fair enough, Wirt. That is true. What's that you say? Oh. The mere presence of the demons has caused the water to become tainted? Oh, truly a great evil lurks beneath our town. But your perseverance and courage gives us hope. Please, take this ring. Perhaps it will aid you in the destruction of such vile creatures. I can't remember. I forgot to get the quest reward. What ails you, my friend? My goodness, demons running about the village at night, pillaging our homes, is nothing sacred. I hope that Ogden and Garda are all right. I suppose that they would come to see me if they were hurt. Just goes to show you how little I care about gear on the sorcerer. Kind of fellow drinking. You know what I think? Somebody took that sign. They're gonna want lots of money for it. If I was Ogden, well, I'm not. But if I was, I'd just buy a new sign with some pretty drawing. Maybe a nice mug of ale. Ooh, or a piece of cheese. I don't need Kane to identify my ring of Hello, truth. Oh, my friend. I see that this strange behavior puzzles you. Cheese well. for everyone! I surmise that since many demons fear the light of the sun and believe that it holds great power, it may be that the rising sun depicted on the sign you speak of has led them to believe that it too holds some arcane powers. Hmm. Perhaps they are not all as smart as we had feared. Alright. Ring of Truth, we've seen. Hit points plus 10, minus 1 damage from enemies, resist all plus 10. Definitely a great beginner Wow, well, what can item. I do for you? Demons stole Ogden's sign, you say? That doesn't sound much like the atrocities I've heard of or seen. Demons are concerned with ripping out your heart! Not your signpost! Alright. Talk to Adria about the sign, then we're set to head back in. Well, we're right at two hours. I was worried this stream was going to be too short, but that's a good length. I sense a soul that no mortal can truly understand the mind of the demon. Never let their erratic actions confuse you, as that too may be their plan. All right, guys, I've got a hard stop coming, so I'm going to have to end it here. I know I usually try to end it at the end of a level or something, but I really want to thank you all for watching me today. I greatly appreciate you. As always, I enjoy my Diablo streams very much, and I hope you do too. Uh, we are going to raid over to my buddy Zippy. I think he is playing his... Uh, hmm, I don't know how heavily modded it is, but I'm pretty sure he's playing KOTOR too. So Zippy's great. He's super friendly. He's a big supporter of the channel. He's great at the games he plays. He plays a pretty nice variety, and he's just a uh, really, really interactive, chill streamer. Great. I really hope that you'll join me over there on the raid and follow him if you haven't already. Uh, thanks for stopping by, Tara. Sorry, sorry I have to go, but... Uh, yeah, hang out, hang out with Zippy for a while, watch some KOTOR, it's a good time, and I should be back tomorrow, and I think we're, uh, I think the rotation specifies a Morrowind episode tomorrow. So, thank you all, thank you all very much, I really appreciate it. Like I said, I hope you will hang for the raid, and I will see you tomorrow. As always, check the YouTube as well. Take care, bye-bye.